All right, we're back with hopefully the finale. Uh, yeah, might not be. I mean, not hopefully, because I never want the game to end, but... Well, true. <laughs> but I do... I, I mean, in all probability, it'll take us another video to finish this spell, and we'll have to do a fight in a third one. And Trapper! No, I don't see Trapper. <laughs> I'm just... I just I was, thought it would be funny. I was going to freak out. <laughs> For God's sakes, not blue. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine they let you do that, yeah. and like... Like, Ulyoth just gets moved, like, five feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or you summon a second Ulyoth, yeah. and, and they just, like, fight each other. Because they're so arrogant. <laughs> That'd be awesome. If you summon two Chaturgas, it would be Hulk versus Doomsday. <laughs> like, I figure, like, this is all, like, shit that they would do in, like, a modern game. When yeah. They have, when they have, like, a budget and shit. Yeah, I'll let you have choices. <laughs> yeah. But, like, that's never gonna happen, unfortunately. Are you shotgunning trappers? Are you out of pistol ammo? I mean, probably not. Okay. <laughs> it's got a good range. Yeah, it does. I just, I just snipe that guy from across the room. Yeah. Like, IRL shotguns actually have pretty decent range. Yeah, I've never fired one, but that's something I see people complaining about. Oh, oh no! Oh, crap. Well... That's something I see, people, I see people complaining about a lot in video games, where they act like shotguns only have like a like a 10 inch, yeah, <laughs> like radius. Watch the light. Yeah. Like in freaking TF2, ah, you've got to be like right up in their face to use the shotgun. Yeah. It seems to be kind of picky as to what it registers as a, like, throwable target. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's... I guess the monsters have to have more than one targetable body part. Yeah. Like, I mean, this is the only time in the game that you actually get to use this. Yeah. So I'm not surprised that it's kind of finicky. Yeah, they probably didn't. Because fighting the zombies with easily chop offable limbs and parts is the most satisfying. Right. Yeah, the um the uh the throwable gladius is just like a really cool uh concept. Yeah. Probably. You just get to be linked at the end yeah. of the game. I have the same sort of feelings towards uh I don't know if you ever played it, but Neverwinter Nights 2. The uh the campaign has this really cool weapon you can get like way 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 at the end. Uh, the Silver Sword of Gith. And it's awesome because it's a sword made up of, like, I think, s like, seven or nine, like, shards. And it's got all these cool powers. Like, you can, like, throw... You can, like, throw chunks of the sword at people. So it's freak... It's Cloud's Buster Sword from Advent Children? Well, that's not the Buster Sword. That's, like, the seven-something sword. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah it has, like, a... But, yeah, it's kind of like that. Or you can, like... You can, like... Did you see that flicker? Uh, nope. I didn't see anything. Ah, oh, your shield. Anyway. But, uh, you can also, like, you can also, like, make the entire sword, like, come apart, and you end up with, like, a spectral sword, like, in your hand, and the other parts, like, fly off and, like, attack people in the room. Huh. It's, like, a really cool weapon, conceptually. Okay, there actually is a trapper there. Yeah, I, I saw it that time. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, I guess I was, I guess I was a bit of a liar when I said we're never gonna use these weapons. Yeah. <laughs> Because trappers. <laughs> There's trappers everywhere. See, why couldn't they be actual enemies? Like, this <laughs> this would be a lot more fun if I actually got to fight shit. Like, I've done most of my combat in the trapper dimension. Yeah. And look, there's a bunch more. Oh, there's the invisible trappers. Oh, okay, so we've got to... I forgot about the invisible trappers. But I'm pretty sure I can just reveal invisible. Yeah, it'll work. I do like that, you know, they want you to start, like, flexing your spellcasting muscles. Yeah, I, I would have appreciated a bit more reason to use these spells throughout the game, yeah. not just at the end. Well, I do, I like it, I like it here. Uh, why isn't it, is the wall, no oh, there's a wall there. I thought this was, like, farther into the ground, but it's actually blocking Oh, you us. know, you're in a pit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it shouldn't be blocking you, but it is. No, it should be, because I'm, I'm like, yeah, I'm like in the little pit. Yeah, but you're... But I mean, I... 
back to what I was saying. I, I, I like that it kind of demonstrates that Alex has become like a powerful archmage by this point. Sort yeah. of sort of dealy, like she's a real wizard from all the experience she has with the book. Yeah. And I mean, up until this point while I say I would have liked to have seen more and need to use the spells when I played it, I just gave myself the reason. You know, I, I cast the spells I didn't need to uh, because it was fun. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I was like, you know it'd be fun to fight these room these zombies with a horror and then kill the horror. Or yeah. I think I'll be invisible here or I think I'll make a damage field or magical attack. You know, I did all that myself, but it would have been cool if I had to do it to progress yeah i i agree it would have been better for gameplay but i appreciate like the like thematic story reason yeah that's that's also yeah good. are there like more trappers like oh there's okay there's one no i'm way back there <laughs> <laughs> i'm way like at the edge you piece of crap fucking and i i can't even i can't even take the time to like refresh my stuff Spells don't work in the trapper dimension. <laughs> well, that helps. I like that his torso is just there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sure if the decision to make the ultimate weapon a gladius is supposed to be like a cool, like thematic callback to Pius's like signature weapon being like the thing that undoes him and also possibly being like the actual gladius that pius uses or if it's just they were like well we already have a gladius like model ah it's <laughs> gotta be this it's gotta be the first one. <laughs> i'd like to believe that yeah <laughs> and i mean it, it, it's also Cause kind of because yeah because i i like to believe that it's actually his sword and like it's that like connection with him that allows you to, d to defeat him. Yeah. It's just cool, like, thematically. I mean, all, all, the, the Gladius is, you know, it might functionally be the best melee weapon in terms of speed and power. Dude, Ramdao. Yeah, right. The Ramdao was cool. Dude, if you had, like, a permanently enchanted Ramdao that you could throw at people, like, you could, ki <laughs> you could kill God with that thing. <laughs> Like, you could go mano a mano with the Ancients and win. <laughs> In Alex is flying through space. <laughs> it's like a freaking... It's it's like a... It's like a you, saw, you saw One Punch Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like when he was on the moon and he just sees... You know, you, you'd be on Earth. Alex would be on Earth and she'd see the Ancient way up in space. Just has pause for a moment. Judge the distance. And then crouch down and just do a single leap up into space towards the ancient, slice it in half. <laughs> like, I want to just, I want to pay an animator to do, like, death battle esque fights for me right now. But, like, all the, but the Ram Dow just, like, like, Kareem with the Ram Dow just comes out of nowhere in every single fight <laughs> and just wins. And slices one of the competitors in half. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what? I was dispelling that. I, that's that's what I assumed was was the case. Uh, wait, do we do you have to magical attack it or maybe is there something in the center of the room that is I've, relevant to these stones? I forget this particular gimmick. Yeah, me too. I don't remember these stones right now. Probably not with red. Probably should have been like blue or something. Yeah, but well, let's see. Oh, you did a red pool. Oh, I did a pool. Okay. Well, now you'll never die. <laughs> Oh, does that overwrite the purple? Yes. Damn it. <laughs> I think I have enough. No. I'm very close though. Yeah. Stupid lack of an on of a of a permanent like HUD. Yeah. <sighs> you ruined this all, fucking uh, Half-Life 3. <laughs> there you go, now you got the perma HUD. Or Half-Life. Have you uh have 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 you voted for uh for those Steam awards they have going on right no, now. No, I have not actually done any voting. Like a lot of people are determined to give Half Life th Half Life Two the most need of a sequel award. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. Because that's what that's one of the categories. <laughs> so I think a lot of people are going to vote for that, like Endmas, just as a joke. 
Ah, uh, they're right. Up. Yeah, it's Magical that attack. weird little sun. There we go. Yeah, blue, blue. Oh. Well. Uh, well, if it doesn't... If it doesn't go anywhere, we know it was wrong. Oh, well, it hit them. Okay, so... Uh... I what? guess it doesn't matter. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> sure. I'll take it. Yeah. Uh, I, I'd buy that for a dollar. We did it. I don't even know why that worked. Yeah, I don't really get the logic there. I guess you just had to do a magical attack. Yeah. Huh. I, I should have done purple just to make it thematic. Yeah. But whatever. Oh, now we're back here. Yeah. Yeah, back here for the uptillionth time. Okay. So, uh, recently, uh, the last issue of, uh, of Nightwing uh -huh. has, uh, Dick Grayson reading a Robin comic. Huh. I mean, it's, it's actually a, it's actually a Robin Hood comic. Oh. Because the sequence is he's reading Robin Hood. Like for for class or something. Okay. And then he ends up getting distracted by TV, and he ends up reading the comic book <laughs> <laughs> to save on time. But the uh, it's hilarious because the 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 font of like the title and everything is the same they used for the Robin comics of old. Yeah. And it's called like Robin Hood, like Rebirth, like what DC did recently. Huh. So it's basically a comic about Robin reading comics about Robin, and it's it's great. Oh, summon is the yeah one we're summon. Going for. There you go. And then one more part on. Yep. And then we're done. With the annoying dumb part. Yeah. Like, a lot of games... A lot of games get criticized for getting lazy at the end and just doing, like... Like, waves of enemies. Yeah. And I would have been... I would have been okay with that here. <laughs> it's like, Eternal Darkness does have fun combat. And especially right now, oh. when you have, like, all of the cool shit... Like, all the spells and everything. Yeah. Like, this would have been the time to, like, you know, let you use all of it. Spell? Yeah, it's gotta be seven. I wonder if that's gonna spawn any of this. Hope not. Like, I, I would have... I, I even would have been happy if, like, the damn squids were here. Oh, man, the shrimp? Yeah. Like, that would have been fun fun as hell to fight with, with, the, uh, with the Gladius. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, that's... Yeah. Maybe. Just to be on the safe side. Yeah. And uh, after running that distance, I should have enough to uh, to to magic pool again. Yeah. And then yeah, you could just do the last the last one. And then it would be. Yeah. How much? How much time? You might actually have time to fight. Well, I don't remember. Do you go straight into the fight fight after summoning? I forgot. I think there might be a short cutscene. Yeah, no, but I but think there, can, I mean, there's there's no more like dungeon. Yeah, I think you can do it because we're only we're only like uh, fifteen. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure we can. I, I'm pretty sure at the most we'll go like a little bit over. But it's yeah. it's the final episode. Yeah, who cares? And like, I mean, nobody nobody's watching this anyway, <laughs> except <laughs> except for Moo apparently. Yeah. Uh, thanks thanks Moo. Yeah. Appreciate that. I wish Ron would watch our would watch our shit. Ron might like this game. Actually. <laughs> I think he would. Cause it's the combat's not the combat's easy enough, yet fulfilling. Well, it's also just it's just like it's just a cool game. By which I mean like you play it, and there's no just one thing. There's just so many neat little yeah. things that you play this game. Like, oh, this combat's cool. Oh, casting that spell to solve that puzzle was cool. It is. It is you one know. of those games. That it falls into for me it falls into the category of there's so much there oh you're gonna want to enslave one of them I bet right uh, there's so much there that isn't forced on you there's a lot of lore there but it's there for you to discover for yourself yeah I, there's a uh, lot of interaction there uh, in the same vein there's a lot of things you can do. Do I use blue to capture blue? Is no, that how this uh, works? I, I mean you can use anything, but oh, okay, I'll go with blue. Yeah, yeah. I I would argue that this game is exactly the sum of its parts. Yeah, because like 
it's all just kind of like as good as those things are. Wait, what the hell? They okay. Yeah, they, they just went... Because it, it doesn't give you... It, it, it aligns them to you. Yeah, yeah, but I thought even two horrors would be one shot. Well, I am enchanting green. Oh, sorry. But green is strong against blue. Maybe if you do opposite alignment and slave, it just gives the guy. <laughs> Maybe. Hey, look, I get to fight someone. Yeah. Awesome. Freaking, ah, oh, the throwing gladius is so cool. <laughs> I know. I'm just like, man, get dealt on. There you go. And that's the end of that chapter. Yeah. <laughs> Give me back my sanity. Which he didn't take anyway. Yeah, you didn't lose any on account of green shield. <laughs> Wait, what did you five? What am I even there? casting? I don't know. I don't know what I cast. Oh, I cast oh. damage field. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, now I can't <laughs> fall. <in. laughs> I hit up out of reflex because that's what we've been having uh, have re having recover. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah take yeah. to the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, enchant. You're right. Uh, okay, this is interesting. Oh, I think I just run straight across. Yeah, yeah, oh, because that's where you just fell. Yeah. yeah, that was where I was before. Of course, now I have to. Uh, I gotta recast. I'm gonna have to recast like everything. Oh, the magic in the shield. Yeah, oh, yeah I'm, gonna need, I'm gonna need the shield in the next room. Yeah. But I mean, you can cast it from the step. Right. Yes, the step by step and the day by day. I never cared for that show. Nah. So freaking, I don't, I don't know if this is new or old or whatever, but... It's new to me. Apparently, at some point, I'm not sure when I acquired this knowledge, but I became aware that at a point in time and space, a show called The Nut Shack was a thing. I have not heard of this show. Yeah. I don't know, it's apparently a show about... I mean, it sounds like a very classy show. It, it's apparently a show about people in the ghetto doing ghetto stuff. <laughs> and it's animated, and... Is it like a predominantly black cast? I think so. Not like the Mexican ghetto? No. Oh, you're doing the pool again. Yeah. Because the, uh... And I think I can. E I think I can even just go into the fight like with, with only a partial bar, because. Because you'll fill it up while you're. Yeah, exactly. Like I'll, I'll get, I'll get like a little over halfway. Yeah. And then I'll save, and then we will. Yeah, like right here. Because uh, I'm gonna be hitting him with my sword anyway. Yeah, All right. Well, we've got about ten minutes to do this, but it shouldn't take that much. I mean. Yeah, I think. I think let's we, just go. Over I think we got this. Oh, I like that they. I forgot that they that they give you the little prompt. Yeah. Like, hey, uh, final boss time. You might want to save, buddy. <laughs> Don't want to pull an Evan. <laughs> Alex, stay determined. <laughs> oh, he stripped all your magic when you. I hope that wasn't the case. Ah, Miss Rivers, you're just in time. The summoning spell I began two thousand years ago. Is finally complete. I miss Richard. You will now have the honor of becoming the first morsel for my lord, Ulya. An appetizer for the vast. I wonder if they recorded that line, like each of those lines you separately, the one of course one of the human. ancient, or if they just sub in the word. The human race <laughs> will never go quietly into the darkness. For as long as you have spent summoning your lord, people have struggled against you. Such a cool now, final thanks speech. to their efforts, yeah, it really I is. have three of the ancient's essences. Now, Pius, this is the end. <laughs> Alex is pretty cool despite the, the fact that she hasn't had, like, any real dialogue all game. Yeah. It's just, uh, it's neat. You know, in, in spite of things. She's been, like, the player's surrogate the whole time. But now she gets to be her own character. Freaking that real fast cast. <laughs> yeah. Screw you, Pius. Fucking cheater. <laughs> Pardon, 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 pardon. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, your boss is a jellyfish. And me without my hyper beam. 
That's clearly the point where it's loading whatever movie yeah. is appropriate, because <laughs> it had the weird transition. Yeah, so we're summoning our own ancient to fight his ancient. Yep. Kick his ass, Zelatoth. <laughs> Zelatoth, I choose you. Alright. Alright, he... You have to break that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, does he have a perma blue enchanted weapon? I believe so. Oh man. And he's got the shield. He's got the same loadout as us. Well, I don't have my pool for some reason. Yeah, I think he must have. I come to think of it, I Wait, think. Wait, did he just dispel you immediately? I was gonna say I think he actually cast dispel. Oh, he did. Yeah, Good. he did. So yeah, in case anyone's wondering, the trick here is to just run from Pius, because he's glowing real hard, yeah. and he's drawing his power from that uh, pseudo artifact. It's not you have the, the artifact. I don't know. Oh shit! I didn't get I didn't get my casting off. Oh. Well, no, you have three. You have yeah. We you have Mantra Rock. Zelototh, we uh, we have all the ones except for his. Yeah, so he's actually... So yeah, you've got it. He's drawing his power from... Uli oh, it's behind us. Yeah, and you hit him to manifest it, but you have to damage the artifact to actually damage him. And here's the really cool part of the fight. Yeah, when all the people who have acquired the tome and, you know, passed it down through the generations come along yeah. to contribute one last time. Yeah. I love this shit. Yeah. Ooh, that magical thing. Yeah, I can't believe I juked that. Alright. Sanity gone. Oh, you moved. Man, I can't... I hate it. <laughs> I hate it that keeps happening. Yeah, it's alright. You got this. Oh yeah, you got it. And now we're uh, Anthony again. Yep. Oh, there it is. Oh, that means... Yeah, I remember. That means that uh, Giovanni, or whoever he is, is going to have his day. Notably, uh, or just kind of a weird thing to note, that Anthony had his uh, Scramasax. Yeah. Instead of his instead of his boss, uh, Big Sword. Oh, look who it is. But Kareem has the, has the round down. Who's, who's this loser? <laughs> the coolest guy in the game. <laughs> <laughs> so this is actually a very Bayonetta thing where as you fight an opponent the monsters that you each have summoned fight in parallel to you oh is that is there like a similar sort of dealie going yeah, on yeah because you know in Bayonetta witches draw their power from demons and can summon them ah. and sages draw their powers from angels and can summon them and so there's a very... You do a lot of fighting in tandem with your summons in that game. So it's it's, oh. it's really... It's like this. It's a really cool feeling. That's nifty. Yeah. Oof. It's okay. I got my pool off. Yeah, you did. So I should be... Uh, You're just recovering. Pretty yeah. involved. Ah, uh, the realist. May the rats eat your eyes! Yeah! Oh no, you got hit. So you have to go hit the artifact. Oh, right. Well, I have to hit him. Yeah. Oh, no, you just have to... Oh, is the artifact was already there. Yeah, but you have to hit him with right. the... You have Whoa. to hit the artifact with the dude. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that... There we go. Yeah. Yeah, I think the deal is you have to get a successful hit on the artifact with each. Bit. Oh, I don't know. It's a, it it's already over there. I oh, keep I keep trying I keep trying to hit him. Is the problem? Oh, because yeah, it re I guess it respawns automatically after the first. One. Yeah. The rats eat your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm. stop hitting me! <laughs> <laughs> Shit, wrong way. There you go. 
So, this is probably a much more annoying fight if you have to worry about limited ammo and shit. Or just getting into melee. Hey, it's Luther. Yeah, because he's way harder. To, he's way harder to, to fight if you have if yeah. you have to go melee. Because he's got his damn like in like in like yeah. unlimited shield and shit. Yeah. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, the ballsiest cast. Oh, so oh, close! God, yeah. I almost got him. <laughs> if I had run over here and done it, I would have gotten it. Yeah. Lost the lightning. Yeah. Saving my. Ah! Oh, I ran the wrong way! <laughs> <laughs> like, you know. You know a guy's on. Oh, oops. Oh, bullshit! Oh, well, that was a little bit unfortunate. <laughs> you know a guy's cool when all he has to do is free. Oh, you throw the thing to him? No, no, no. He, the. Motherfucker! You know a guy's cool and all he does is walk after you. Well, also, also that or they just didn't have like very comprehensive AI program. Well, yeah. Alright. Shit, I can't see him. No, no, he's casting lightning. I think I remember that. Yeah, but I mean, I couldn't see like where the lightning yeah, was going. Yeah. There, oh, there it is. is. Run, yeah. And it's been destroyed. Yeah, I guess uh, I guess the moderns don't get to participate. Which means that Uliath is screwed. I like how she's just like, oh, portal? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Bad touch! Honey, honey. <laughs> I like that she's like... She's, like, acting like a lightning rod, I guess. Yeah. In space, somehow. Well, she's, like, blasting him with, like, insanity. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Got it. There you go. That's a seven point... Oh, okay. Can't believe I dodged that. <laughs> oh. oh! He gets a damage field. Oh, just to make it harder for you to move around. Oh, are we done with the, um, I guess we're done with the artifacts. Yeah, I'm just hit, I'm just, we're yeah, just fighting Yeah, you can probably it. just toss it at him, but not through the barrier. Uh, Shit. Yeah, he can walk through his own. What a cheater. <laughs> it's alright, at least I have my pool up. Yeah, you can just so, shoot laser swords. That should, so that should, the pool should last the rest of the fight. So you gotta just don't run into that. That's way. Yeah, the, uh, the damage field is... Is that a creature sign? I don't know. Nope, it was oh, okay. That's, uh, that... Oh, no! Oh! <laughs> I'm, like, too low on health to run. <laughs> oh, there it came. You got, you got yeah, it. Yeah, there, right. there we go. I saw that his... Oh, All the damage field blocked it! <laughs> is magical attack, like, something area? Uh, I, I think so. Because I saw the area rune go down, and then I was like, oh, wait a minute. The uh, kind of annoying thing is you have to be like all the way turned around. Yeah. And you <laughs> you can't throw it over your shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just mean like you know, and also you uh, you need to be like there's a certain minimum distance away you have to be, otherwise you won't do the the throw. Oh yeah, you do that. Right. You good? I don't know. That sounds like you're hitting the. Uh... Is he slowing down? Yes. I never do do shots to the head hurt him more? I don't know, I've just been doing it because like that's my instinct. Oh, I never oh. never occurred to me that I could like beat the shit out of him while he's casting. Well But you cannot do a finisher on him, no. which is kinda sad. And here's the finishing blow. Yep. Paper beats rock! Friggin' paper makes rock shoot itself <laughs> with its own dimensional beams. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're done. And now he begins to sink in space. Yep. So, uh, 
So what what took Pius like a jillion years to do, we did in like half an hour. Yeah, because... <laughs> He's a pretty shitty, like, chosen. Yeah. But that's because we had three and now, artifacts and the city. So like, he could have done it. it. He had every oh. advantage. My death. Also, this your staff is mine now, again. bitch. Yep. I wish the staff was like a was like a new game plus unlockable. Yeah, that'd be cool. Like, why the hell wasn't it? What even is that? A spine attached to a pelvis? Yeah, it, it looks like there's like a like a it looks like there's like a rib cage at the top. So now we have to deal with the issue that we did the very thing we were trying to stop to yeah. stop the thing that we were trying to stop, and that's a little vision of what happens if uh, what have I done? if Zelatoth gets to stay here. <laughs> Oh, it's Grandpa. So Michael's the only one who doesn't get to show up in uh, in Ghost form. Quickly well, also, Alex, um, we must find this uh, creature. Peter. It cannot be allowed oh, yeah. to remain in this But Peter's universe. probably still alive. So we have to. We have to bind this. Oh. No, no, oh, we got to bind it right. Wait, what did you just pick? I tried to pick Dispel. Oh, okay. Uh. So absorb. Oh no, we're summoning the other agent, right? No, no, no. That would just be the same problem because then you'd have Chaturga left. Right. I think you need to absorb area and do a. Nor that one. Either. Oh no, you're dispelling. Come on, Edward. It hasn't been that long since you researched this stuff. Are we dispelling? I, I picked dispel. Didn't it's I? the squiggly suit. <laughs> <laughs> I've never messed up this many times before. Oh, it's protect. You're gonna seal it. Good heavens. You're gonna seal it in a big old prison. So, a uh, damage field. Protect area. Ah, ah right. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, it's because we're only changing the one rune. Yeah. To convert it into a new spell. Because it's a protect area. Instead right. Of oh, no, it's protect creature. Oh, you're doing the bind. The thing that lets you possess the... Right. The enemies. That's the one we're doing. We're not dispelling. It is finally... Thanks, over, Ghost Grandpa. Dear. The ancient's plans are finished. For now, at least, you have proved to be an incredibly courageous young woman. I like this music. Your mother and father would have been proud of you. I mean, all the music is good. Well, yeah. Just as I am. I'm sorry it had to be like this. It's not quite the inheritance I had in mind for you. But there was so little time. I mean, I'm a fucking wizard, so though. Much yeah. It's a pretty cool inheritance. Goodbye, Alex. I will miss you. Where exactly is this chamber we're standing in? Where emptiness had been, new yeah. knowledge now seeped inside. Something happened then. I realized that I was not the only one, that there were many others like me, in other places, other universes, fighting the same fight, all to serve the needs of the great ancient, and to have my world spared from eternal darkness. And so it comes to pass. Of the three ancients, there is nothing. The mighty Chaturga has obliterated the insanity of Zelotath. The madness of Zelotath has overcome the power of Uliath. The boundless Uliath has decimated the power of Chaturga. All at once, separate and simultaneous. For the universe is made of many time streams, many possibilities, all in harmonious synchronicity. Only Mantarok remains, slowly dying. Mantarok, Keeper, Overseer, Warden of Ancients, Chaos, an entity trapped between the veils of reality and the enchanted stakes that impale its flesh. Unable to rally its guardians, it could rely only on its subtle manipulations of the Roivas family to destroy its enemies. Knowing the nature of the Ancients, it used its pawns to play them against each other, resulting in their mutual 
annihilation. Now it will languish forever, festering in its tomb, plotting. Yeah. And that's the true ending. For this. <coughs> yes. So I, I guess we should explain this. So you're meant to you're meant to play Eternal Darkness over the course of three playthroughs. Yeah. In at the beginning, when Pius chose an artifact you know, one artifact of three, mm -hmm. each choice represented a playthrough you're meant to complete. Right. At the end of every playthrough, you get this You get this uh, screen, and you get to save your data. And when you restart the game, you can choose to use your completed data. It's not a new game plus. You don't start with anything extra. I mean, I, I, think, you, I think you do get, like, eternal mode if you want to, you know, if you want to, like, screw the game or something. But yeah. The, you don't get, like, anything extra for that. But... When you go through Pius's, Pius's uh, chapter that second time, the ancient you chose the first time won't be available. You have to pick one of the other two. Mm -hmm. And then, and so you do that all three times. And each, I guess the implication here is that each playthrough is occurring simultaneously. Yeah, each playthrough is in a parallel universe. Yeah, like a bordering reality. And yes. so when... When uh, when Uliath told Pius that he's already foreseen his victory and he saw himself, you know, beating, uh, beating Tuthurga, that was what happened in an in an adjacent playthrough. Yeah, that wasn't what was going to happen in this playthrough. So because these are all happening simultaneously, all the ancients killed each other at the same time, effectively. Yeah as part of Mantarok's plan, and now Mantarok is the only ancient left. Yeah, it's a sort of a Doctor Who esque. Yeah. Type and, of deal. And so on your fourth playthrough, all of the artifacts are available to choose again in Pius' chapter. Right. But no matter which one you pick, your fourth run through. Yeah. You always it, get. You, it is revealed that Mantarok had foreseen all of these things happening and. Right. You were working for him the whole time. Right. And, uh, and that's it. And un unfortunately, we're never going to find out what Mantarok's plan was. Yeah. For, if it was a if it was a good plan or a bad plan. Yeah. But uh I do like the I, I do I do like how they leave it open ended. Personally I'm of the opinion that Mantarok was a benign ancient. Yeah, I mean I mean he got along real you can you can see in the frescoes that he got along really well with the ancient civilizations and he was worshipped as a fertility god. Yeah, it's just at some point it kinda went wrong and they had to stick him in the temple well i i was under the impression that he lived in this temple this is just where he was worshipped and uh pious you know just turned it into his prison oh i see what you're saying yeah but he was already in a decaying state when pious arrived on the scene but Pi I'm pretty sure he i'm pretty sure pious had already imprisoned him by that point i don't think you get to see pious imprisoning him didn't we see Pius do a thing and then the pillars slammed down into him? Did they? I don't know. Huh. I don't know. But it, even if he wasn't imprisoned, he's he was sort of reaching the end of his lifespan, right? Because he was Well he, he he was he was already called the dying I think he was already called the dying god. He was already called the corpse god. The corpse god, there you go. Yeah. Yes. So I, I sort of thought that yeah, he had just been around for thousands of years for millennia already and maybe that's just sort of how long ancients live right but not at, sure at the very least letting Mantarok win was definitely the lesser of the two evils yeah because Mantarok <laughs> he's the one that wasn't overtly bragging about how he was going to conquer everything yeah exactly I mean <laughs> you know he might pull some kind of shenanigans now to extend his lifespan yeah I mean now that he's dying and nobody can stop him he might eat a few humans to like st <laughs> uh, renew his vitality, I guess. But I mean, I mean, every, I mean, every, everyone needs the, needs to top off their health bar. Yeah, exactly. Know. You know, it's so. I don't hold that against him <laughs> personally. Anyway, um, so that's it for this playthrough. So yeah. I ho I hope you you one person watching, possibly Moo, maybe Tim. Yeah. Uh, had fun. Um, we enjoyed playing this. This is the project we've been wanting to get done from the outset yeah. and I'm, I'm, I'm glad and please, we finally did it please do go play this and like I said play it 
Play it slowly and really read everything and take it in because it's a really rich universe and they did a good job here. Yeah, and even though uh, Dennis Didak is supposed to be like a, a raging asshole who ruined the company, there was clearly somebody put a lot of love into this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, all right, we'll see you guys whether yeah. for our next project, whatever that is. We shall see you later. Later.